least 21 countries within the Arabic speaking world all served by the same satellite. So when you license content into the region, you're licensing all 21 countries at the same time. There's a lack of transparency and there's a lack of liquidity in this market. It's really hard for a distributor to reach out to all those, literally there's over a thousand broadcasters, not to mention 75 telcos, like about 20 or so OTT platforms. There are loads and loads of buyers, but they're very hard to locate. Um, very often you have to work through numerous middlemen to get to them. Um, there's no transparency on the deals. Given all those challenges, the fact that we were there in the middle and able to communicate with all the broadcasters, it seemed a natural thing to offer a way in for the distributors. When we launched Mina.tv, it didn't come out of nowhere. It was very much a, a response to the needs of the market here. What we are trying to do with Mina.tv is make it easier for everybody, make it easier for the, the sellers to, to reach the broadcasters, the actual buyers, and probably most importantly, make it easier for the buyers to, to, uh, to see what's actually out there. We don't get involved in the transaction directly. We're not a distributor ourselves. We basically showcase content in, in a way that buyers can easily understand what's available and they can look by genre, they can look by language, they can look by distributor and find the, the, the kind of content that they think might be suitable for them.